Good morning, everyone. Will here at Five Minute Digital Recording Tips. We're going to run through how to make a vocoder this morning. First thing you need with a vocoder is a something to drive the actual vocoder itself, what's called a modulator. In this case, I've recorded uh, two bars of vocal. Quickly, we listen. The streets awake. The time is now. Okay, um, I've exported this to the desktop already as an AIFF, and I'm going to import it into my sampler. So uh, we'll mute that now, we don't need it anymore. I've also created a, an instance of Reason right here as a rewire. So the next thing we gotta do is go to our actual Reason file itself, our Reason program. Here it is. Um, let's mute this down here out of the way for a second. Uh, so I've already um, uh, um, created these synths that I'm gonna use. Uh, I've created a uh, NNXT, a vocoder, and a Maelstrom and a mixed channel for the vocoder. So one, two, three, four. So the first thing we gotta do is um, click this little button here, open up the sampler, uh, go to browse sample, go to the desktop and pick our sample. In this case, it is, uh, I believe it's Streets 2. Okay, um, so that's loaded up there. Solo sample as well, so that you're not hearing the actual uh, synth itself. Now, if we go to the back of these by hitting the tab button, we'll, I can show you the connections. Uh, let's just make these a little bigger so we can see them. Um, there you go. Okay, so this is the modulator. Okay, modulator. Okay. So you can see here, the modulator is going from here to here. Okay. You can see a little microphone, which will give kind of uh, if you get confused, we'll figure it, we'll you know explain it to you. And second of all, we have up here we've got a uh, a maelstrom, and you'll see that the main output of the maelstrom left right is going to the carrier input of the uh, vocoder. And then finally, the uh, vocoder is just being routed to uh, the input of the mix channel. Okay, so now if we tab around back to the front again, oh there we go. Um, I have drawn in, I'm just going to play along with this here a second, okay, and see if we can get our synth sound. So basically what, I, what I've done here, you'll see down the bottom, uh, I've got my two, um, so we have to, you know, when you're playing a MIDI keyboard with Reason, you have to select the track in order to hear it, so I've selected it. I've drawn in some sequencing stuff, which I'll show you in a minute, but for now I have it muted, so we're just going to hear me playing keyboards, so here it goes. <laughs> Okay, so uh, if we go back to the vocoder, I'll show you a couple of little things here. Um, if you want to hear some of the dry signal with it. We don't want to hear that right now. And then uh, also up here, you'll see these different bands. In this case, I've got it on the uh, the 512 uh, band. You can change them. This is the most intelligible one for vocals. And you can also use this as an equalizer, which we, we won't cover today. Um, so what I've so there. That's the basic idea of the vocoder: a modulator, a carrier signal. As you there, you two things with the carrier signal. In this case, I've chosen something called Screaming Wheel, which is a mono synth. Uh, you want something that has kind of sharp waves, like a sawtooth, uh, something that's kind of maybe even have a, has a little bit of aggression. Uh, otherwise, it doesn't really work as well as you'd expect it to. Now, uh, the final thing I wanted to show you is just another little trick. Uh, so if you'll, if you'll see here uh, my four bar pattern, I've just drawn in sort of some kind of random I did this really, I wasn't really even thinking about it, I just drew in some random uh, notes on the keyboard. So if we unmute this, uh, let's hear what that sounds like. Okay, this is on the Maelstrom, by the way. Let's do the, let's do the full. The 
so you can have a lot of fun with that um just by you know drawing in little notes i could make that a little better i could put in more some more really crazy notes to um you know just to shake it up a little bit it's up to yourselves just be creative finally uh, the last thing then is i also um has had, had a few uh delays and whatever so i put this echo on and uh Maybe some of this room. Let's have a listen to that. So there you have it, guys. Uh, that's the basic introduction to vocoders. Uh, we'll cover some other aspects of them in another tutorial, but uh, this will certainly get you up and running and sounding like Daft Punk in no time. This has been Will here at 5-Minute Digital Recording Tips. Take it easy, guys.